hey, hey, hey. It's Davey from Daveyverse. Netflix subscribers are in hysteria over CEO claims they have never cancelled a successful show. Netflix, you bullshitters. Then you sign in. Uh. Oh, no, I don't. Yay! Thought I had to sign in there. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, you could have had a list. We never cancel successful you set up for the lies. <laughs> Fair enough. It's another day where we have known fights and let's make sure Netflix knows feelings about the statement that they've never cancelled a successful show is a blatant lie. See, I sort of wish Netflix do publish the app, but they don't. So it's more just how big are fandoms, sort of how you work this out. In a lot of cases, I do think Wild Woman was actually successful. But then it may have had a big budget. Who knows? After I said this, we never cancelled a successful show, Keyboard Warriors. I was scared to click on that one. Right, so the Netflix CEO has said that Studio Giant has never cancelled a successful show, leaving many subscribers. Right. Some funny memes are coming out of this, but you know what it is. I can't be sure the bulk of them as I'll get wrong off YouTube. <coughs> so the interviewer, uh, has the evolution of business affected your relationship with creative community? And in that people online are constantly outraged about shows being cancelled. Sanos answered. We have never cancelled a successful show. A lot of the shows were well intended but take to a very small audience on a very big budget. Which is sort of what I'm thinking. The budgets are kind of inflated above what the show really needs. Uh, but then as you get shit where it's like the budget's nothing. But in fairness, my view is a good story will be a shit budget. But a shit budget will not cover a shit story. Did I see that right or did I see that wrong? We'll find out in post. Ah! I'm taking that as a no. Right, the key is that you have to be able to talk to a small audience on a small budget and a large audience on a large budget. Similar to what I'm thinking or what I said, but I still don't think that's right. I still think a large audience can be maintained on a small budget as long as the story is appropriate and is decent. I don't think you can get a like a sh still on thing. Look at Marvel. Well, Marvel just discredits everything I said. Well, no, She Hulk. Oh, no, Wings of Power. Wings of Power would be the best base associated. The story was terrible. The budget was a billion. And look at the audience it's got. And now they're tied in for five years. <laughs> oh, my dears. That was that. Who, uh, who writes that contract? I can see why they wanted to secure it. They think, oh yeah, we get a load of rigs for five years, we'll secure this, lock it down. And it looked promising. And then you shit all over it. Season 2 is going to either be rewritten or just scrap season 1 and start again with season 2. Anyway, Netflix. What Netflix done? So Netflix, so they've been getting trolled for this within the last few days. Uh, I'm not happy with you, but... So they've also kept after password sharing. Netflix sharing never uh, never again. Well, then X feel the sting of being locked out if you have an account bullshit. So it's said they've lost uh, 100 million users due to password sharing. And Christ almighty. How many people are sharing accounts? Let's say about maybe twenty percent of them might return. So you can get twenty million back at least P this time. So it will, so it will probably feel this sting. I'll be worried, but I can see a lot of people are pissed off at this. Netflix sort of sort themselves on sort of being family orientated. Say I pay for it, but then I give it to my mom, my sisters, my brother. And then they buy Prime, and then they get, and they sort of share that with me, and then someone gets Disney Plus, and then share it around again. 
sort of how it goes. I actually think I pay for Game Pass, which I share with my sisters. But then my ma pays for Netflix that she shares with us. And then I pay for Prime again. I get done this deal, I tell you. I get done. So that's how it works in my house. But yeah, it is what it is. So people are pissed off at Netflix. So they're pissed off at their... So they're pissed off at you. They're pissed off at you. And now the CEO has fucking left. Which goes to really gather what the fuck is going on at Netflix. God knows. It tops. I mean, this is interesting to me there. Here are the top TV shows based on Netflix on reporting of hours, views. So this is. Wait, Squid Game is still coming up there. Christ, Stranger Things, Wednesday, Dharma, Money Heist. Wait, so not, I thought Dharma would have broke a billion by then. Wednesday, that will probably take over Stranger Things, probably. And Squid Games, I don't think there's any chance of catching anything soon. But, probably Wednesday probably saved Netflix last year. It's become a sort of cult icon. It's pretty much amazing how what uh, Tim Burton's done with it. Next. Hello, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, watch more. If not, uh, at least like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. Appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.